Hi, welcome back to Jeremy Core guys. In this video, I'm going to do the backend processing, I mean the coding part for the JFX drawer. So, so far we have the hamburger button and we have the toolbar. What I want is when I click on this hamburger button, I want to load this uh, toolbar. So let's do it. So coming back to the uh, theme that theme.css, the styling is over, we have to do this coding in the main controller to Java section. So here, from the initialize, we can initialize our drawer. So I'm going to write a method called init drawer. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to create that method. Then in the bottom, it will be created. So we have init drawer right here. Then oh, I need an object of the hamburger and the JFX drawer. So uh, we have oh, there is a hamburger and there is a drawer to FX and the components. So I'm just going to cut this. then put it here <clears throat> i mean i am just grouping these fx and the components together that's what i did now coming back down here what i want to do is first i want to inflate this v box so uh, as you know the root pane is uh, the v box so i'm going to create a v box command so v box toolbar it's v box toolbar equals then we can use fxml loader just like what we do in normal ui loading operation dot load then we can pass get class or get resource then here we have to give the toolbar name so here we have toolbar.fxml so we have to specify that part so slash library slash assistant slash ui slash main slash toolbar slash toolbar dot fxml so this is what we have to load definitely it will throw some exceptions so we have to add surround statement with the try catch so we need try catch there then we can set the drawer side pane content so now we have a drawer object what was the name of the object so the drawer itself so drawer dot set side pane and set the toolbar as the side pane so that part is okay now what we need is we have to do the coding for hamburger so let's do the hamburger transition so if you search hamburger there is hamburger arrow basic transition close transition arrow basic transition etc i am going just going to use slide close transition now then <clears throat> task new just create an instant of it new uh, so it's new hamburger transition then we can give our hamburger object here so we have a object called uh, hamburger so hamburger no that's hamburger <clears throat> the hamburger is a vbox object so i gave the name for a wrong object so this is hamburger I gave it for a V box. Now I have to find which V box it is. So coming to the code section, here it is. I gave it to the wrong component hamburger. I'm going to cut it and pay, give that FX ID for this hamburger. So I'm going to click on the hamburger. Where is my hamburger? There is anger pain. We have anger pain and we have hamburger here. So I'm going to paste that hamburger here then coming back here in the uh, main dot fx i am going to create the controller so this should be replaced with the jfx hamburger there is an error obviously my controller probably i haven't saved my code save just making sure jfx hamburger hamburger I'm, anyway, I'm just going to change this to JFX hamburger. So JFX hamburger. Now coming back down here, uh, we have hamburger. Now this part is okay. Now we have to set this burger task. I uh, this is for the animation. So task dot set <coughs> rate to minus one. Set rate. Set rate minus one. Then 
I am going to do an add event listener. So task dot add add event listener. No, sorry, it's hamburger. Hamburger dot. We are clicking on the hamburger add event handler. Then we need new event handler. So new <coughs> event handler. Okay. Now instead here we have to uh, do the coding part. So what we have to do is if <laughs> the drawer is open if drawer dot is open or we have only is hidden method if drawer is hidden then we have to open the drawer i mean this is the jfx drawer so open otherwise if drawer uh, otherwise there is only two options either it is hidden or it is showing so if it is not hidden which is which means it is open then we have to hide it so drawer dot hide there is close option so drawer dot previously there was show and the hide option now it is only open and close so we have to change that now here <coughs> in the handle section we have to add two more lines of code we have to change the hamburger status so i am going to click on this task uh, copy that task then task dot set rate then we have to give the current rate so task dot get rate which will get the rate and multiply it with minus one so it will double between one and minus one so that's how we handle the animation of the hamburger transition then we can hold task dot play so it will change from one position to another uh, we will see just one second so we have any drawer here so that any draw will be called from the main controller top itself so that's okay now let me run the program let me log in with my username and password <clears throat> there is an issue here and let's see what's the problem so looking at the exception it is uh, lambda expression null is the any drawer there is an issue so construct a load option ui main load or java so uh, i think i gave the wrong name so let's uh, check library assistant ui main toolbar toolbar or fxml so instead that is there any errors so clicking here making controller now it's okay these members were not there that's what the exception is let us close the program and run it again <clears throat> we haven't handled the events yet when we press on the button nothing will happen we have to do that i will do that in a moment first let us uh, check the ui so there is no exception the exception was definitely this method now if i click on this nothing is happening let us see what is the issue that is causing this button is not working so if we go back here in this main.fxml you can see that we have added this jfx tab pane over jfx hamburger so yeah you know, if you look at the depth this jfx tab pane is in the higher portion so all that we have to do is move this jfx hamburger down here not there uh, just by one bit now this jfx hamburger is above this jfx tab pane and now this should be clickable let us uh, I, uh, let us hope this will work so i am going to run the program again <coughs> closing the current instance and uh, let's try so let me log in first then coming back here and i'm going to click on here the current issue look the current issue is it is working but the event is continuously generating so that problem is because of this event type dot rule because it fires for all kind of events we are interested in mouse click only so mouse event dot mouse click <coughs> mouse click will do the trick it's awt event which is not supported we have to use java fx mouse event so if you look at this we have the java dot awt event then java fx scene input is there from the we have mouse click option so this will fire only when mouse there is a mouse click option let us create a lambda event uh, convert this to lambda so 
that's okay <clears throat> now let's run the program again there is an issue main control dot java so let's put it okay now let's run it gc root now if i click on this you can see that our side pane is coming I, I mean our toolbar is coming but the size is not that good that is because we have in specified the drawer dot set default drawer size and i am going to set that drawer size to 150 just a random number i mean i think 250 will be okay now let us run it again <coughs> gc i accidentally I press caps lock gc row now if i click on this you can see that this much distance is there so i have to make changes that uh, i mean i have to change that here so let's go to the jfx drawer i mean uh, there will be jfx drawer here so we have set default drawer size 150 i set that to 150 here also so i don't have to give that here then i have specified a drawer dot set minimum width i mean uh, that's not required let's run the program <coughs> So GC root. Now if I press here, you can see that our JFX drawer is working. I mean, this is okay. Now we have to do so a little bit of CSS styling because this doesn't look good. I mean, there is no separation between our main window and this part. So we have to change that also. So first thing that I am going to do is I am going to define a special button. So I'm going to create a style section here and let that be toolbar buttons. <coughs> toolbar buttons and here i am going to give dot jfx uh, no not jfx i can give something like toolbar toolbar buttons there is no need of yes toolbar button is enough then i am going to set the background color so fx background color currently it is primary so i am going to derive a new color from my primary so fx primary let that be 20 percentage brighter than the primary one so i can distinguish uh, see it in a different shade then <laughs> i mean different shades of gray then uh one more option that i should give is hover option so we have to give that hover effect so toolbar button hover <clears throat> and instead hover when we hover i need to give that fx secondary power and I, I have to change that text field also. So FX text field, I'm going to set it as FX primary. So when the background is prime, secondary, we can give text field as primary. Uh, no, we, we are not ready to run yet. We have to, <coughs> we have to set this toolbar button class here. So uh, going to the VBox toolbar, coming here down. Here we have toolbar button, so toolbar button. That's good. Let's run the program. Let me log in GC root. Then if I press on here, I am getting this uh, window. Now the hover is working, we are getting the color. One issue is that the icon is still uh, having the same color. We have to update the icon color or to primary color also so i mean after that it will look better so for that uh, if you don't know how to do that just to constantly now because uh, it's a special one so we have a toolbar button that is hovering and inside that i mean this should happen only when there is toolbar button and that is hover operation we can give the glyph icon here so if i give glyph icon here then i set the fx uh let me go back and check how i said it was fx fill primary text so i am going to change this fx fill to fx primary not primary text i need primary color so what is happening is when there is hover operation over toolbar button i want to apply this style to this great python class let's see how it is working <coughs> gc root now if i press on here and as you can see the color is also updating so that's how you you nested or uh, how you access the nested elements 
so i think that's the end of this video uh, so, uh, in this video we have in added the action listener for this i mean when we click on this we have to have our window i will do that in the next video so as always thank you for watching the, this video like the video if you like it and as always uh, comment your <coughs> suggestions in the comment section so i can make my videos even better so thank you very much